why Virginia is for lovers, why Virginia. When you have a brand that's recognizable and that really brings a warm and familiar and fun feeling to people, and because it has endured for 50 years, there's been an evolution to Virginia's for lovers, and we want to stick with it. And it's really a great, prideful opportunity to celebrate particularly here in London, 50 years of love. Our ambitions are big and bold. We want to keep growing, we want to keep adding product. We want to make ourselves relevant to the traveler of today and the traveler of tomorrow. We believe that Virginia's for Lovers is enduring. It is an enduring brand that will keep on living. But what we really have to do is to continue to associate it with travel and to make it known that Virginia is for beach lovers, for mountain lovers, wine, craft beer, the great outdoors, and sports and music. Virginia is the birthplace of America. It's where it all started. It's where the great democratic experiment kicked off. From the first British colony in 1607, we built over the years this place that is now Virginia that means so much to so many people. It has blossomed, it has diversified, it has grown, not only from a travel and tourism space, but also for business, as well as building up our transportation assets to have a number of flights on a daily basis, flying nonstop from Heathrow to Dulles Airport, which is in fact located in Virginia, 45 miles into the state. So one can get off a flight and within an hour be at a lovely craft brewery or at a winery, sipping and beginning their holiday. There's so many amazing scenic drives and if one wants to bring in their motorbike or their bicycle or to just simply go for a scenic cruise, all of that is easily possible. And along the way, you can try different varieties of wine from the Petit Verdot to the Cabernet Franc to the Viognier, and all of these grapes are flourishing in Virginia. Just ask your very own Oz Clark. He's been there a few times and tasted a few Virginia wines. You've just launched a new food trail? Yes, we launched Salty Southern Route, which is four towns that came together to put together a trail enhancing and advertising and promoting their food heritage. So it's really about peanuts, which are indigenous to Virginia, but it's a special kind of peanut that you really don't find any place else. It's a large, extra crunchy, really delicious peanut, and it has this kind of really earthy flavor to it, and also pork, uh, which Virginia is the home to the Smithfield ham. It's the cured, beautiful ham. We're known for our ham biscuits, and we also have an oyster trail. In Virginia, you find eight varieties of oysters of eight distinct flavors from briny salty to sweet and savory. So when you put together the food, the attractions, the arts, small towns, you know you really get a sense of these Virginia small quaint villages, fishing villages where the people are accessible and you can go, actually go out on an oyster boat. There's a special kind of boat that harvests oysters. It's called a Chesapeake Dead Rise boat and the oystermen will take you out. You can join them on their harvest day, come back, pop open some oysters, taste them right there off the back of the boat, and it's really a great experience. The Providence just landed, which is a tall ship. The ship appeared in two films, Master and Commander and Pirates of the Caribbean. It is now found a home, permanent home, in Alexandria, Virginia, which is just a short distance from Washington, D.C., about a 10-mile drive and very close to Maryland on the Potomac River. So you can go on to the Providence, see how they lived and what the uh, shipmates experienced while they were on this ship, tell the story of the ship's appearance in these two you know, really blockbuster films. Mm -hmm. And also right there on the shores of Alexandria, you can hire a boat to take you by water, water taxi to Mount Vernon, or take you water taxi to DC or actually take you on a water taxi to Maryland to the MGM Resort. So all of those and I mention these other places because we're a region and we all touch each other and there aren't many cities or states you can visit and be in another state or major urban area within a matter of minutes. We have so many amazing artists, musicians who are from Virginia like a Pharrell Williams, Missy Elliott, Dave Matthews, Pusha T, Timbaland, you know, Dr. Ralph Stanley, 
it's just really rich in, it, in our music heritage. And who knew that Virginia is the birthplace of country music? In 1927, the first recordings of country music of the mountain people who came and visited Bristol and sat down for the first recordings. And now we have a historic museum, birthplace of country music museum in Bristol, Virginia that you can visit. And they have a studio where you can go record your very own country song.